This guy has been part of two of the biggest factions ever created in wrestling. He was part of DX and part of the NWO. Who is it? It's time to unbox SummerSlam 2024 X-Pac. Make some noise, x -Pac. Yeah, I don't know why I said it like that. Anywho, there we go. This is X and also Pac. Here he is. It does come with a John Cohen Build-A-Figure piece in there. Uh, yeah, all kinds of good stuff on the front there. Here's the side. There's x -Pac. On this side, Elite, SummerSlam, Certified Authentic, x -Pac. All of that stuff going on. Looking awesome. And on the back, look at all that sweet stuff. That stuff's just sweet on the back of the box. What is all that stuff? Well, let's say this is X-Pac from SummerSlam, the Elite Collection. He's from Minneapolis, Minnesota. On a map, it's about that far away from my house. Right there. Anywho, uh, 6'1", 212 pounds. Finisher? The X-Factor. After winning a hair match at SummerSlam 1998, Degeneration X's X Pac had two words for his opponent Buzz Cut! <laughs> oh, that is stupid. Anywho, career highlights WWE Tag Team Champion, WWE European Champion, and a WWE Hall of Famer. Again, it does come with the Build-A-Figure referee John Cohn piece. In this case, it's going to be his torso. It does say John Cohn officiated some of the most memorable matches in modern-day WWE. Who's all on the line? Undertaker, Lex Luger, Kane, and X-Pac. Uh, we do have all of them. We've already unboxed Lex Luger, if you want to check that out. Here's X-Pac, and Undertaker and Kane will be coming up, so stay tuned for those. But again, this is SummerSlam X-Pac. Let's get him out of the box. See what he's all about. And here is X-Pac. Take a look at him. How's he looking? You like his head scan? Um, let's see if we can get a better... Oh, his torso is tight. His torso is not moving at all. Oh, there we go. Hoofta! That was a tight torso X-Pac. There you go. Is that a better view of his head? I don't know. You let me know. You like that head scan or not? Um, I mean, I, I, we've seen this head scan before. Uh, I mean, it looks like X-Pac. He does come with the sunglasses. We can throw those on. I think that'll make him look a little bit more like X-Pac. There we go. It'd be cool if he came with that bandana, uh, the red bandana that's shown on the box. Uh, but yeah, uh, black and red and silver gear. Here it is, X-Pac. Looking all X-Pac-y. He's got black and silver on his pants and red. He's got the black and red boots. Oh, with a little silver on those as well. He does come with a couple of gripping hands that are currently on him. And then he also comes with the crotch chop or the slap hands as well right here. And most likely we'll put these hands on because he wants to... Do the Bronco Buster. Um, and then, yeah, if we move him to the side, look at this. John Cohn's torso. Here it is. Uh, yeah, that will take care of that. And we do have his legs from the Lex Luger. So we're just going to start the process right now to build them. There we go. John Cohn standing half tall right here. Missing some arms, missing a head. How cool is that? There we go. We'll set him off to the side and take another gander at X-Pac here. Uh, yeah, again, this is X-Pac SummerSlam. Let's get him in his final resting spot. Show you guys what that looks like. And there he is. We have a bunch of other X-Pac figures over on the DX shelf, but I figured since we turned the new gen shelf into the ultimate shelf, that X-Pac could hang out with his other versions, the 123 Kid, the Lightning Kid. And so that's where he's at. 
Uh, again, I do appreciate you guys watching all these videos, uh, all the subscribers, new subscribers, old subscribers, everybody in between. You guys are phenomenal. And with that said, hopefully we'll see you on the next video. SummerSlam 2024 X-Pac with the John Cone Build-A-Figure piece in it. This guy right here in the red and silver. He's out.